Hey, what up y'all? It's me, your boy, Lil D, coming at you from the den with another nursing video. And this is part six of a 10 part series that I have on this channel where I talk about each class that I complete in the nursing informatics program at Grand Canyon University. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about HIM 650 Healthcare Data Management. Now, before we get into the video, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe. I post nursing related videos two times a week on Wednesdays and Sundays here on this channel. If there's something that you want to see from a nurse, nursing perspective, nursing related here on this channel, go ahead and leave that in the comments down below. But yeah, let's get into it. So first thing we always talk about in this series is how does the class HIM 650 relate to informatics as a whole? And if you watched my previous one, part five, which was the evidence-based practice class, I was really looking forward to this class because this is the first class that revolves completely around nursing informatics. So yes, this was revolved around nursing informatics completely, finally. We're in the sixth class in the nursing program, Six. class out of 10 classes, and we're finally solely based around informatics. So I was really excited, but um, we did have people going for their health informatics, and then we also had people going towards nursing informatics. So it was a mixture of these two people, no more nurse practitioners, no more educators. It was really only these two groups of people going to school for this. One thing I found different about this class though was that there was only seven people in this class, which is nice because you get to know everybody and how they post, but it was a little irritating because on I like to get all my schoolwork done at the beginning of the week. I like to get my discussion questions done in one day. If I can, I like to do all my responses in one day and just put, like, put them on separate days. That way I get credit. But in this class, with there only being seven people, I found that people were not posting their discussion posts until the very last second, which really put me back in my planning for the week of getting my homework done because I was waiting for them to put that so I could do my response. So yes, that was a little bit annoying. Now let's talk about the assignments in this class. For starters, there were no quizzes and there were no tests because I know that is always a question that comes up. So there was none of that in this class. There were about four or five papers. That's if you count the diagrams that we had to make. Now an issue that I had with this class though, although it was fully revolved around nursing informatics and the textbooks, textbook was a nursing informatics textbook, was that there was little direction and there were a couple assignments where they wanted us to download this data, this charting data system on your computer and develop these flow sheets somehow. And when I reached out to my teacher, she didn't really have much of an answer. So I really just got my iPad and drew up some diagrams and submitted it. And I ended up getting 100%, which is nice but I feel like I didn't really understand exactly what she wanted. I'm doing my nursing informatics master's degree at Grand Canyon Univer University, and the textbooks are always included in the class. So the teacher gives you a link once you start the class, lets you know what chapters she wants you to review. And in this class, we actually use database systems, design, implementation, and management, 13th edition. And it really was pretty easy to read, actually. Lastly, my teacher was pretty easygoing, like I said, when it came to di the diagrams. A little too easygoing where I didn't really know what I was doing at times, but I am in the final week. I, fi I finish this Tuesday, which this video will probably be out by then, but I currently have an A and I have no doubt that I'm going to finish the class with an A. If you have any questions about nursing informatics, you can leave them in the comments down below. But if you want to check out one of the other class reviews that I did in the Grand Canyon informatics program, I'll link them right here. And yeah, I think I covered everything. I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks. Bye.